the concept of pH which is nothing but the concentration of hydrogen ions and on the basis of this pH scale we can classify the objects as acidic, basic or neutral. And you know what? This pH has a significant role in our daily life as well. And that's why there are many industrial and biological processes which are affected by the pH value. And that's what we are going to study today. Like if I ask you guys, do you think that animals and plants are also affected by this pH range? And before going to that thing, what about our own body? What do you think? Well, you might have heard this thing that our body works effectively within the pH range of 7 to 7.8. The 7 to 7.8 is the neutral region. I hope you remember that. And guys, do you know one thing? Not just our body, there are many other living organisms which can work effectively only and only in this pH range. And guys, do you know one thing? The pH in the industrial areas of the rainwater becomes less. Do you know why does that happen? Actually, in the industrial areas, there is the release of acidic gases like sulfur dioxide or nitrogen dioxide. I hope you remember that. And because of the presence of these gases in the environment, the pH of the rainwater also decreases. And do you remember this thing? Whenever the pH of rainwater that goes less than 5.6, it is called as the acid rain. And guys, do you know how harmful this acid rain is for the aquatic life? Now you must be wondering how. Well guys, this acid rain flows into the water bodies like the rivers and the lakes and the presence of aquatic life is disturbed in this case. Since the pH is too acidic for the acid rain, as I just mentioned, it is around 5.6. Therefore, the aquatic life might even get killed because of the presence of too acidic range. And as I mentioned earlier as well, for the living organisms, the neutral pH range is what we require. Alright guys, how about we talk about our own digestive system? Do you know one thing that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps us in the digestion of food without harming the stomach? Well, we are aware of this fact. But guys, many times you might have heard people complaining about acidity and to give a relief to such people antacids are given. Do you know why do we use that? Well guys, what happens is these antacids, they contain the bases. And these bases helps us to neutralize the excess of acid which has been generated in our stomach. Well, that's what happens whenever someone is suffering from acidity. The pH range that goes very low in that case, that is, it goes toward the acidic range. And then we need some base to neutralize the effect and bring it again to the neutral range. And not just this, antacids, we can even use cold milk as the treatment for that because at home that is easily available. And guys, there is one more solution for that. That is milk of magnesium, what we call as magnesium hydroxide. Alright guys, since we are talking about the digestive system, how about we talk about our own mouth as well? What do you think is the pH range in our own mouth? Well guys, if you are thinking about the neutral range, you are somehow close to that. The pH in our own mouth is more than 7, which is why, because this saliva which is present in the mouth is basic in nature. And that's why the pH is towards the basic range more than 7. But guys, doesn't it get affected when we eat food? What do you think? Well guys, yes it does. Whenever we are eating food, some of the food particles, they are sustained in our mouth and which affects the pH value as well. So what happens is whenever there are food particles left in our mouth, the bacteria which is present in the mouth, it causes the degradation of such food particles and even the sugar particles leading to the formation of acid. And whenever acid is formed, what happens? it lowers down the pH and that's why the pH is decreased in our mouth and it causes even tooth decay. Well guys, you know what? The tooth decay starts whenever the pH value that is lower than 5.5 which is the acidic range. 
The tooth enamel is made up of calcium phosphate and considered to be the hardest substance in our body. And you know what? Whenever the pH range that gets less than 5.5 in our body, or I would say in our mouth, the teeth gets corroded. And that's why it is always advised to clean the mouth and even avoid eating the sugary foods. And guys, do you know this is the reason that the toothpaste that we use should be of the basic range. And since the toothpastes are basic in nature, they neutralize the excess of the acid which is present in the mouth and avoid the tooth decay. And guys, do you know one interesting thing? The self-defense of plants and animals is also affected by this pH value. You might have heard about this thing that the ant and the bee stings, they contain formic acid. What is formic acid? Of course, well, I'm not going into the detail. It is an acid and it falls in the pH range less than 7. And that's how the animals, they prevent them. So to neutralize this effect, we know it very well that a mild base is required. And what does it do? It neutralizes the effect of the acid and again bringing it to the neutral range. So again, we can say that pH is of significant role in our daily life. Because if we don't know about the concept of pH, if we don't know whether a compound is acidic or basic, how can we treat that? And guys, do you know one more interesting thing? The growth of plants can occur only in a specific pH range. They cannot grow in the too acidic or too basic range of the soil. And you know what guys, this you can try by yourself as well. All you need to do is just collect some of the samples from the soil where the plants are growing already. What you need to do is just take up the soil, dissolve it in water, filter it off and then try to find out the pH using the pH scale. Correct. So when you do that, you will realize that most of the plants, they require the neutral pH range for their growth. So we can say again, the pH is of great importance in our life and not just our life, in the life of plants and animals as well. All right, guys. So in our today's class, we established how important the pH value is how it affects the different types of living organisms which are present around us and our own body as well. So this was all for today's class. Let's summarize what we have done in this class. Our body and the living organisms can survive effectively in the pH range of 7 to 7.8. The pH of rainwater is less in the industrial areas due to the presence of acidic gases. And when this acid rain flows into the water bodies, it kills most of the aquatic life. To neutralize the effect of acidity in our stomach, we can use magnesium hydroxide, antacid or cold milk. The pH value in our mouth is more than 7. Whenever the pH value becomes less than 5.5, the tooth decay starts. To prevent the tooth decay, generally the toothpaste which are basic in nature are used. The bee sting and ant sting can be treated by the use of a mild base. The plants can grow in a specific pH value for the soil and generally it is in the neutral range. <laughs>